Okay, if you have classful subnet masks, these are uh, the three classful subnet masks. This is a first one here is a class C classful subnet mask. If you have a subnet mask 255, 255, 2550, you have a classful class C subnet mask, right? And in, in this case, the better term is classful net masks, all right? Let's change that so we don't make that mistake. And then 255.255.0.0 would be a classful B subnet uh, net mask. And then here 255.0.0.0 would be classful, right, class A net mask. All right, so what happens is if you see this, you know that, oh, we're using a class C net mask. And so the network is 192.168.1 and we have host 55, right? What happens is the, um, the, the 255s tell you where the network is and the 0 tells you where the host is, right? And it's very easy. And these are all in binary 1s and these are all zeros. This is uh, 24 bits of 1s, 24 1s in binary, and this is 8 zeros in binary. And the 1s tell you where the network is and the zeros tell you where the hosts are. So you know that in this scenario, this is a network number, network number, part of the network, part of the network, and then the last part, the 55, is the host number, right? And that's all very clear, right, based on the location of the net mask, right, which is 255.255.255.0. But what happens when we have a situation like this, where we have a 192 here and then it's no longer a classful C subnet mask now we have this funny subnet mask okay so now it's not so easy to say well this is the network this is the network this is the network and this is the host uh -uh. you have to write it out in binary to find it and I'll write it out in binary right here one there's eights and eights right and then one, two, and I'm going to make it smaller so you can see it. And I need to make it a little, even smaller. Okay, so now you have um, a situation where 255.255.255.192 has been written in binary, right? And you have the normal 24 bits here, but this 192 is written 192 is written as one one and then four zeros here so these right here I'm gonna highlight them in red these are what I'd like to call the subnet bits right so these are the net bits network bits right here and then these two are like borrowed bits they're borrowed from the classful host zeros and we've kind of added these two extra ones into what was normally eight zeros well the magic number in this case is the last one that you've borrowed so in this type of situation, and this would be written as slash 26, because we have one, if we count up all the ones, there's 26 of them now. There were 24, now there's 26. And so in the CCNA, you'll have to find out, they'll ask you this type of question. And this type of question on the CCNA will be something like this. Um, is this a usable host address, right? Or what network is this, right? And it's difficult because with a number like this, you can't rely on just normal classful addressing to figure it out. So you look at this number and you say, is this a usable host address or what network is this in, you know? And you have to answer that. Well, how do you answer that? I'll show you. The way it, um, the way it's very useful, let me see, I'll cut that, put that here, is to figure out what is the magic number. Well, in this case, the magic number is the last borrowed bit, and it's in the place value. The magic number is the place value that the 1 is in. And so this is the 128th place, and this is the 64th place, so the magic number is 64. Well, what does that tell us? Actually, it tells us quite a bit. I'll show you exactly what it tells us. All right, make this a little bit smaller so I have a little more room to work with. Okay, make
make this a little bit smaller. It tells us, the magic number tells us where our networks are. So it shows us that the networks are 2.168.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.1.